Tonight, a warning for parents from a grieving mother about how quickly things can turn when a child is left by a pool unsupervised. That mother speaking exclusively to Victoria Saha after tragically losing her own son. Brian and Denise, it's only been 72 hours since little Oliver passed away in California while on a trip with his dad. His mom says Oliver was left alone when he fell in the pool. This incident, a tragic reminder for parents to always be alert when it comes to pool safety. Happy birthday! He's literally my sunshine. Angelica Richards describing her five-year-old son Oliver the best way possible. Never in a million years did I think last time I held him was going to be the last time I would hold him. Richard says Oliver was going away with his dad and stepmom to Bakersfield, California to stay at his grandma's house. He wakes up, I'm going to, you know, California. <laughs> but that excitement was cut short when tragedy kicked in. Richard says Oliver was left unsupervised around the pool. No one realized he fell in until it was too late. He must have fell in the pool. Um, when they went to check on him, they found him at the bottom of the pool. Richards was also in California with her fiance. The two rushed to Oliver's side at the hospital. They pretty much told us that we just have to wait until he's ready to go. Richard says although she's grieving for her little boy, there's anger because this tragedy was completely preventable. There was no gate around the pool. Somebody needs to be watching them. But hopes her story will spare another family from going through the same heartache. I just don't want his memory to fade away. Richards has set up a GoFundMe account to help bring Oliver's body back to Las Vegas and lay him to rest. That information is up on our website at 8newsnow.com. Bakersfield Police Department is still continuing their investigation regarding this.